Hey guys, welcome to another video, and in this one we're just going to go over things I would like to see in a future Assassin's Creed game. Now this is a very down-to-earth list, so I'm going to get started with the no more guns thing. So that means, like, get rid of settings that have guns as a main, like, usage, I mean, get rid of them. There's no need to have guns in Assassin's Creed, because it ruins the feel of being able to kill people with stealthy assassin knives and stab people in the hidden blade feels really, really, really ridiculous. Um, the more variant crowd events, like I like the crowd events that was introduced in Unity and progressed into Syndicate, but in Syndicate they're not as common as I th hoped they would be, but if you ask me, they need to be more variant, so it's not just like kill the criminals, defend the civilians, scare the bullies, give these people money. There need to be more interesting ones like rescue the dog, euthanize the dog, shoot the twat, execute the bowls man. Save the person from the execution or whatever, and stuff like go on and stuff like that. And these would be more fluent parkour, like Syndicate and Unity share parkour quite in common, though in Unity it was just ridiculously far fetched, you could jump for miles, and Syndicate they brought it down to earth a little bit. But there is a glitch that I don't really like, it's the fact that you can sometimes, you carry, like Jacob or Eby, they will simply refuse. To drop down like when you can when you're supposed to be able to and it might cause mission failures um missions need to be more variant if you ask me like you know need to have different objectives like and you might be doing something else something entirely different something I'm like cool it doesn't require that's not always the same thing sort of thing and cool stuff you know that's based like ends with like a massive explosion like in Assassin's Creed 3 you had that mission where you ran through like a town and it was blowing up and that was pretty much the best mission in the game and it's always the different missions that make for the best ones um, like some missions where you might like man a cannon or a vehicle and jump off and do some awesome combat opportunities um, the combat needs to be so uh, I'd like to see like the skill tree kept into the game, but the combat, or well, let's see that evolve as your skill tree evolves. So you look like you're training, at, like your skills, you get more skills, you get more skills in combat, and your kill moves are more efficient, they look better, they're more aesthetically pleasing, and more satisfying to do. That really makes me think that 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 would really really be cool. If you ask me, because you start off with these really clutter of kill moves, like in Assassin's Creed Unity, and then like when you become like an assassin, you have these really cool kill moves. Basically, that's Unity for you. But I like to see that just that it comes with skill moves, like you know, there's like skill set as kill move pack this, kill move pack that, and all no instead of that is all. It's always down to like combat efficiency um, and the leveling system. Like every level has different types of kill moves. But the previous ones can still be accessed, but a bit less cluttered sort of thing. I'd like to see more variant enemies and allies as well, because trust me, all the female characters look exactly the same. Sometimes they have different hair colours, and sometimes they've got a different jacket. But some of the, all the male, male characters look the same, besides from the bold guys. All the brutes are bold, or most of them anyway. Some of them, the objective ones aren't usually. All the police officers look exactly the same, but most of the white dudes look the same. Most of the civilians look quite similar, like you can see two of one person around, but I have rarely seen that to be perfectly honest with you. But most police officers look the same, everyone seems to look the same, even the jackets look exactly the same in almost every way, shape and form. And I'd like to see where the protagonist has a friend as well, you know, like, you know, in a film where the guy has a friend and that friend, say, he dies, you can see, you know the chemistry, you feel the emotions, it feels tearing, you know, like, I just want to have like this tearing emotional like friendship because friendship chemistry cannot be replaced by a love life or anything like that and that'd be quite cool to see. But that's basically my list of what I would like to see in a future Assassin's Creed game. So come on, them down below and tell me what you would like to see in the next. And I'll, I'll probably feature them in a video to come. So thanks for guys. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. And I'll see you all in the next one another video. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. So yeah.